How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we are going to be building a stone portal hub for the new Ashlands stone portal. Now, a while ago, I did build like a massive portal hub, uh, which is this building here. Only problem is actually I'll go in there. So the only problem with this is that it's predominantly for the normal portals. Uh, they're just called portals. Yeah, they're just called portals, which are good because like, you know, they're small, they fit in those sections, but the actual stone portal uh, is significantly larger and will not fit in one of these at all. On top of that, I've used almost every spot up. I've only got like two, three, four left before I need to essentially expand outwards. Um, yeah, so I figured it probably be a better idea to actually just build a brand new hub, which will be used specifically and exclusively for the items that you can't teleport through those other portals. So, oh. I was running Serpentine. Um, yeah, it's going to be exclusively used for those items. So like your metals and your special items and materials that you can't portal with. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty useful thing that'll be, yeah, it'll, it'll be predominantly used for just items that you can't really teleport with, you know, like your metals, your ores, uh, and like your special items. So that's what it'll be predominantly used for here. So that's what I'm going to use this just for, because I've got the massive dock over here that we built two videos ago and then the smithing section we built a video before and then we're going to have a very nice portal hub here and then I'm going to put in like a blacksmith like the perfect end game blacksmith workshop this, this section of the island is all done and then I can just put down trees put in past sweet and then I just got the other side to do but that'll get that component done so yeah I'm just going to get started on the actual portal itself it's going to take a little while because I'm going to need to raise the ground up in. Fortunately, the water is really shallow. As you can see, I built a bridge over there, so the water is really shallow. I just need to raise the water, uh, the ground up in certain spots just so I can make it fit. So I've got a bunch of stone already pre farmed and a bunch of grouse and like all the other materials that I need pre farmed so I can just kind of smash it out. But it's still going to take me, it's going to take me eight hours to do this. So it is what it is. I should probably put a portal here, actually. Ah, I'll deal with that afterwards. All right, I'm going to get stuck into it. I'll probably just completely level the area first so raise the ground and then level it off first and then we'll start the build so i'll pick it up when the actual area has been raised and leveled because it's guys don't want to watch that it's boring i think it's big enough there are certain spots where like i can't level i can't raise it up all the way because it's the water just gets a little bit too deep but i'm pretty sure that's how big I need. I'm going to find out either way, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I'll, I'll go and uh, I'll do the outline. So like just the outline, the foundation, like this is the marker that I'm building it from. So it'll just be like the outline foundation, just this stuff that so I can kind of see how big it'll be. And then I'll trim accordingly and then the build will commence so and get that started. But I mean, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't really take that long to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's big enough. I don't know. I'll I'll start the build because I put I put the placeholder items down, placeholder walls down. So I'll do the outline of it, like the foundation, which will which will be with this. And then we'll it's I don't know. I'm kind of butchering the explanation. I'm just gonna go do it and then I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright, the outside's been trimmed up pretty nicely. I think it's good. Um, I've done the outline, you know, like perimeter. Uh, I've left little gaps here so that workbenches and stone cutters can stay inside hidden. Uh, helps stop things from like spawning in here, but also I can just, you know, if, if something that gets damaged, I can just repair it straight away. So it's pretty easy. So yeah, it's a good quality of life thing. Um, the reason I'm going to leave it open as well is because I want to put the, uh, 
blue wisp torches on the inside in here just to give like some illumination just because it, it, it'll look cool that's all um but yeah i'll do that and then i'll cap everything off and then we can start putting down the portals all right that's the platform for each spot done so the portal will go up here and then i gotta do some i'll do some like pretty design kind of thing fill in these spots do some pretty designs around it like just basically like just pretty it up but this is basically more or less what it will look like kind of like a smaller version but it'll look nicer than the uh existing portal hub it's even got glowing blue uh wisp torches hidden in there so it gives off like a nice i don't know magical glow so oh i wonder what it'll look like from up there again is that roof breaking again is this is what i mean the roof randomly breaks uh, randomly breaks i don't know why i need to get up there and repair that at some point but um yeah it's coming along nice all right i'm going to get the portals all down i'll get the portals all down and then i'll do the wood trim to make it all like trimmed off so it's not just all like just blank stone which will just look boring so i'll do that now all right so i've got black wood on all the stairs i was gonna do the sorry charred wood charred wood or black wood i keep getting the names wrong ashwood all right i've got ashwood on all of them um i was gonna do some of the dark wood trim along the side but i was actually just thinking like there's some pieces that i haven't really used all that much so i want to kind of give them a try so what i'm thinking yeah if i can get it kind of in there i know i'll come back to that but what i'm basically thinking is that 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 and then no not that yeah so that looks cool but then i was like mm, i wonder if i can make it cooler so why not there 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 and there right this is some like lord of the rings gondor start cut like type stuff like i feel like you can make like you know ministereth or like gondor out of this stuff like that looks sick that looks so cool i want to try and incorporate like black marble i might might the middles here like the gaps here black marble just to like kind of fill it in and then what i'm thinking is that i upscale this and kind of put it behind the portal but maybe use glass kind of like like a chapel cathedral glass pane style thing i don't know i don't know i'll cook i'll cook but yeah it looks cool i i, I rate this door this front door thing because there's so much stuff I haven't used. So I was like, why not? You know? Um, but I want to try and see if I can get... I'm trying to use, like, more things. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah. Looks cool. Okay. I mean, I think it looks cool. Ah, right, I keep going. Oh, actually, hang on. You know what? Instead, what I might do, yeah. Now, all I need to do is just keep it going. Actually, hang on. Yeah. There we go. There we go.
Then I'll... Yeah. Yeah, like that. All right, let me let me let me do some magic and see if I can make it look a bit more cathedrally like. All right, when I say I have cooked, let me show you how I have cooked. That looks sick. It's like proper like cathedral gondor war of the rings kind of vibe that's sick all right so i'm just gonna mimic what i've done on this one on all the other ones which should be fun it's gonna take a while this is looking sick like coming along nice I floored everything out because I was just like, you know what? Let's just put a floor in. The oak tree came through, which is nice. Mimicked all the doors everywhere. Mimicked the backdrop for everything. And then just filled in these sections with marble. Put in a little bit of wood trim, but like the main main principal idea. Like it, 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 it was going to be pretty much quick cookie cutter. What I showed you guys on the on the one pretty much being mimicked on everything else. It's looking sick though. It's looking really cool. I love these arch designs. They're cool. Um, all right. All I need to do now and all that's left to do is the actual entrance. And for this, I'm going to do, you know, similar thing like massive arch, but I'm going to try and use the actual flame metal gates because I think that would be a cool addition because I haven't, I haven't used those yet. So I need to get some flame metal and a forge and I need to fill in this one here and then chuck in the gates and she's done but it's looking really cool like it's come together awesome and oh. and the uh the blue torches are cool because it means i don't have to refill everything up all right i'm gonna go deal with these skeletons and then fill in this section and i'll check back in come on bunny bro And just like that, we are finished. That looks like top notch. Top notch. Actually, it looks really cool. This looks nuts. I've gone bannerless for this just so it's uh kind of shows off the actual material a little bit more but the cool thing is is that the sun rises between there like over there which it's kind I think it's doing I think it's doing this right now no the sun comes through the back sorry but it bounces through the glass if you stand directionally directly on it sorry the sun sets on the other side yeah it looks cool Yeah, the sun's over here. But yeah, this looks it looks awesome. Raven sim uh, sim symbolizes uh, Loki. Or something, I think is the the one it is. Tricks to God, taking portals through. Yeah, it's awesome. It's sick. This is a a very pretty build. Like, it even looks even better from up there. Right, right when I finished that, I went up there. I'll I'll, I'll put that through now. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks really, really cool. 
I'm glad that I didn't opt for like a giant wall like the other portal hub. This one looks like, like a bit more, I don't know, magical, mysterious, I guess you'd say. Yeah, that looks really cool. That genuinely looks awesome. Yeah, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Um, Yeah, I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down. Tell me if you guys like it. Uh, if you would have done it differently or if you reckon this is, a, you know, a cool way of doing this stone portal. But I'm also curious if you guys have done it a little bit different. A way that you can share that with me is by joining the Discord. We have a Discord. Uh, link is in the description below. Come join. Come hang out. Share some of your build pics. Show us uh, some of the stuff that you guys are building. Cool, there's already a bunch of people in there as well. So come join, come hang out. The deer out of its misery. Anyway, got some really cool stuff planned coming up. I think next time we're going to probably be building in that blacksmith workshop section. That's going to go in right here so that we can bring in all our resources from the ships or from the portal straight to the workshop. So it'd be good. I think it'd be a good spot uh, for it. We might be able to utilize those three grass plots there. I kind of make a bit of a like a across the road workshop style thing. But yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I'll do some tidy up and put in some stone paths everywhere. But I'm really happy with this build. Really, really cool build. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. Got some really cool stuff coming up, uh, especially once this place just finished. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Hit the thumbs up button. And like I said, drop a comment down. I really want to hear what you guys think of this build, but also if you guys would have done it a little bit differently. Join the Discord as well and share some of those pics with us. We'd love to see some of the stuff that you guys are doing. Help for a bit of inspiration, but also we can do a bit of collaboration in the Discord for uh, everyone's builds that they do in their own worlds. As always, if you're still watching, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.